Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at the Hoppy power meter which I have ordered and it's just arrived today. Um, now you would have seen plug-in power meters like these uh, which is you know what I've, I've been using until now but the problem is um, apart from the very small display you have to cycle through using the function key to see each of the uh, individual parameters. But with the hoppy meter, everything is displayed uh, all together. Now with it came uh, an interesting assortment of uh, accessories. Uh, firstly is this E27 socket with the two pin plug as is used in North America and other places but also in, in China. Um, E27 to GU10 adapter uh, so you can plug in a, a GU10 bulb like that and there's a E27 to E14 adapter so you can also test a E14 bulb. Um, unfortunately there's no bayonet uh, fitting but uh, not to worry. Um, and finally are these which at first glance people must wonder you know what are these for but they actually fit onto the end of uh, lead fluorescent tubes. See the main uh, purpose for this power meter is actually for testing different lamps but obviously um, you know you, you can run any any load off it and find out you know what its current consumption is what the power factor is and what your mains voltage and frequency is so um, on the unit I got it came with a Chinese plug of the Australian pattern uh, and as you'll note, the uh, live and neutral pins are not sleeved, which is not compliant, but uh, I'm not uh, bothered by that. So let's power it up. Uh, okay, and see what we get. Okay, so the mains is 236.3 at 50 hertz is kind of what I'd expect. Uh, we've got nothing plugged in, so no power. All right, um, notice the socket that is meant to fit every uh, plug in the world. Um, it sort of has its advantages and disadvantages, but uh, I'll talk about that a bit later. So first thing we'll do is plug in an incandescent lamp and uh, see what it shows. So here I've just got 100 watt 240 volt uh, bayonet lamp as the standard in Australia and also in the UK and New Zealand and well most other uh, Commonwealth countries with a 240 volt supply, so let's plug it in. I'll just get that out of the way because it interferes with the camera. All right, power factor of one is what I expect because it's a purely resistive load. 99.14 watts or thereabouts, close enough. And current is 419 milliamps, 420, which again is exactly what you'd expect with a purely resistive load. Uh, so let's try a lead bulb now. I'll just get this out. So the bulb now is a... can't quite read that, but it's 4.5 watt uh, lead bulb. It's got an electronic uh, controller, whether it's linear or switch mode, I'm not sure, but I know it's electronic because the bulb does run on DC, where if it had a capacitive dropper, it wouldn't. Uh, so let's plug that in and see what we get. Okay, so 4.4 yeah, 4 watts, 
uh, power factor of 0.57 so it's not appearing as a resist resistive load which is again what you'd expect with a cheap lead bulb uh, current of 31 milliamps uh, which is a good deal more than um, 4.3 watts but again because of the low power factor uh, that's not surprising um, next I have a compact fluoro this is an 11 watt Philips compact fluoro uh, so we'll plug that in the uh, bayonet light socket and see what we get all right, uh, yeah, 10.78 watts, close enough. Uh, power factor's a lot better at uh, 0.86, and current is 52 milliamps. Uh, all right, so far so good. Um, I'll plug in a normal, I suppose these days it's considered old fashioned, but uh, fluorescent lamp, with an iron cord uh, choke and this one's got no power factor correction so I expect the uh, power factor will be fairly low okay it's got an electronic starter so it'll preheat and then start uh, okay 22 watts now it's a 15 watt fluoro tube so uh, we've got a fair bit of loss in the ballasters but you know that's not surprising uh, power factor is 0.32 uh, again that's very low I mean because it's a largely inductive load and the uh, current is 284 milliamps which is, is fairly high um, but again yeah because of the low power factor it's, it's no surprise okay so take that out um, We'll have a quick look at the unit itself. I'll just unplug it. Um, now you'll note these uh, speaker terminals. Well, they're actually connected in parallel with the live and neutral pin. So yeah, um, two 40 volt speaker terminals, which presumably is intended for these bare wires, but um, we can use them for other things it saves having to put plugs onto uh, things which don't have plugs when we want to test them now this is interesting because the casing is obviously used for some other instrument um, that's uh, portable and battery powered because we've got a, a battery covered here now if we open that, that up we'll have a look inside okay and there we have 240 volts ready for the fingers to touch but really anyone who's uh, silly enough to do that uh, d d deserves what they get uh, fuse is nice and accessible that would be the current shunt and again as you can see the uh, speaker terminals are connected straight to the mains now obviously something like this uh, would not be approved for sale in Australia but uh, I ordered this from uh, AliExpress in China. Uh, okay, now the point of interest here is this socket, which supposedly fits every plug in the world. Well, and to a large degree it does. I mean, this is the two pin, what most people think is an American plug, but it's also used in China, but in China it's used on 220 volts. Um, okay, so that, that fits. Uh, I have uh, an old style uh, English plug which is still used in um, South Africa and India. Uh, that kind of it would fit in except the uh, speaker terminals are in the way uh, but the the pins do do line up uh, three pin NEMA 515 North American plug uh, used for 120 volts 
uh, which again it's the same pin configuration as the other one here and that also fits in and as you saw of course before the uh, Australian uh, plug fits in um, Now, I don't know if this is how well this is going to fit. This is a North American 240 volt plug. Now, it goes in, but I'm a bit wary that the uh, contacts aren't as uh, effective as they should be. Um, but See, this is the catch with these, um, you know, universal three-pin sockets that fit everything because it's very difficult to make a, a connector that is going to be able to, um, you know, touch every part of every kind of plug that you insert into it. So I wouldn't be pulling too much current through that. Um, now, possibly the... Uh, well, how can we say the most unsafe uh, plug would be the European uh, Shuko plug. Uh, now, this will go in, as expected, but which is fine for the, the two pin plugs, but this is one also with an earth connection. But as you can see, the sliding contact has nothing to connect with. Uh, and in the case of uh, French sockets which have, which have uh, an earth, uh, how can I say, a male earth pin in the socket which goes in that hole, uh, again there's, there's nothing to connect to. So although you can plug in European uh, appliances, uh, they're not going to be earthed. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, and just on a final note, um, I talked about the uh, E27 socket. Now that's used for European screw in bulbs uh, of that base. Now uh, they're not the same as the E26, which is that. Uh, this, is, this is an American bulb. Now there's about three millimeters difference in the uh, screw length and also I th it, it seems to be a very slight difference in the pitch because the E27 bulb goes in you know perfectly but the E26 is a very tight fit uh, and it's, it's, it's starting to bind so and the other thing too is a lot of E27 sockets, even if you do get it to screw in, because the base doesn't go in as deep, the centre contact does not make. Um, but my experience has been that E27 bulbs will always fit E26 sockets. Okay, so that's about it. Um, yeah, very uh, useful piece of gear. I'll be able to find out how uh, reactive loads are, whether they've got good power factor, because uh, I do a lot of work with inverters and they're very picky about what you plug into them and it's just a handy unit to you know see what's going on with the main supplied at any given time so yeah highly recommended